各位好，我系 Yoyo。Hello everyone， and this is Yoyo speaking。今日第七课系我哋对话嘅第一课。Today lesson seven is our first class for conversational Cantonese. Before we already finished Cantonese pronunciation and start from this class, we will be switching to our conversations. Today's class is pretty easy. We will be introducing you how to do a very easy introduction to say your full name includes your first and family name, and how to say "nice to meet you" in Cantonese. So, part one is about the names. In formal situation, we can ask "Ding Ting Fu," "Ding Ting Fu." First character "dim" means how to, followed by verb or verb phrases means how to do something. "Dim zhou," "dim zhou." Second character means to do, so this sentence means how to do. 或者你可以讲 or you can say. 点算？点算 ？When you meet problems, you're wondering what the solutions are. Then you can say 点算 To ask someone what his name is in a friendly and casual way, 你可以讲 You can say 你叫咩名？你叫咩名？ This sentence means "What's your name?" So let's split. The full version, in fact, is "Ne gu me ye ming." Ne gu me ye ming. Ne is you. Gu is to call. Ne gu, you were called. Me ye equals to me. You can use. Either of them means what, and the last character means the name. So if you translate character by character, this sentence means you were called what name. So for translation, we will say, "What's your name?" So from this sentence, it's not very tough to find Cantonese order is very different from English. In English, we need to put "what" at the beginning, but in Cantonese, declarative sentence and the question they have exactly the same order. But this is a grammar point. We're not covering this in this class, but would be showing you in our later lessons about the surname. Nai Guai Sheng. Nai. Guai Sheng, Nei is you. Guai means expensive, and in ancient Chinese, it means classical or very nice. So we use this character, but you don't have to translate this character into the meaning of expensive. Instead, it is showing our respecting, and you can use this sentence to ask what people's surnames are in formal situations. Sing the last character means surname or family name. To answer this question, 你可以讲 you can say 我姓我姓我 is I 姓 means surname is. Then after 我姓 you can put your family name means my family name is. For example, your family name is William. 你可以讲 you can say, 我姓 William. 我姓 William. 嚟多一次 once again. 你贵姓？你贵姓？我姓 William. 我姓 William. Here is a table. We have characters with Yu Ping, and we have English. Translation. 
第一個 first one， 陳小姐，陳小姐 means Miss Chan。Pay attention， 小姐 ，the second and the third character together means Miss， and the first character 陳 is the family name。It is another difference. In English, we will say Miss Chen, but in Cantonese, these two are switched. So you have to put family name the first, then followed by their titles. Similarly, if you want to call a gentleman, Lei Xing San, Lei Xing San, Mr. Li, Xing San. Is Mister? Again, you have to put Mister after the family name. Lei Xingxiang is a pretty formal way to call Mister Li, and in normal language, in short, Nei Hui Gong, you can also say Lei Xiang, Lei Xiang, Mrs. Liang Tai Tai, Liang Tai Tai, Mrs. Liang. 下一个 ，next one， 张总，张总，总 is the short form of managing director, director or general manager, and 张 is the family name. So similar with Mr, Mrs, and Miss, family name is always put at the front. Wang Boxi, Wang Boxi, Boxi is doctor. And to call strangers, if you don't know what a lady's name is, you can say. Missy, Missy. In fact, it's English Miss. To call a gentleman, Sing Sang, Sing Sang. Ngo Giu, Ngo Giu. Ngo is I, Giu is to call. So. This sentence pattern is used when you want to say what your first name or what your full name is. For example, my name, Ngo Giu Yo Yo, Ngo Giu Yo Yo. And let's review to say what our family name is. We use Ngo Sing, Ngo Sing, Ngo Sing. Sometimes you will see a lot of Hong Kong people would use their English nickname instead of using their full Chinese name to be friendly and casual. So in this case, 你可以讲 you can say 你可以叫我你可以叫我你 is you 可以 can. Be allowed to do something. This is going to be covered in our following classes. Not today. Gil is to call. Gil ngo call me. Nei hoi gil ngo means you can call me. Nei hoi gil ngo yo yo. Nei hoi gil ngo yo yo means you can call me yo yo. Well, meeting people for the first time, usually we will say it was very pleased to meet you. In Cantonese, it's 好开心认识你，好开心认识你。好 has two meanings. The first meaning, if you use 好 as an adjective for a description, it means good. But 好 can also be used as A degree adverb means very. We have 好好好好 The first character means very, and the second character means 
腳，好多，好多，多 is much or many， 好多 ，very much， very many。Hi, son. Is、uh, happy or pleased? And Ying Sik is to know who someone is. Here is another thing that you need to pay attention to, because in Chinese languages, Mandarin, Cantonese, or other dialects, you will find our vocabulary is larger, especially for verbs. Ying Sik is to know who someone is. But if you want to say you know something or you have the idea of something, you can't use "ying si." Which verb is the correct verb depends on the object or the noun followed by the verb. So you need to be very careful. "Ying si" only means to know who someone is. But if you want to say "I know her well" or some other meanings. You can't use "yin sik." Yeah, you just need to remember first the verb and its meaning. Second, what nouns are followed. 好开心认识你。认识你 is to know who you are. So this sentence means it was very happy or it was very nice to know you. 我都系。我都係，都 means also. So do is put after the doer or the event doer. Here, I 我 is the event doer, and the do is followed by I, and do is following I. After that, we use adjective. For description or verbs for action, it is another different because in English we will say what what and to, so to is put at the end, but do has exactly the same position of also. So before you say the action or the description, you have to mention do. The last character means is M R, and.、Uh, I am too, or I also am. When someone say, "It was very nice to meet you," if you want to say "me too," you can say "mo do hai." Next sentence is pretty useful and also humorous. Gao yang dai ming. Gao yang dai ming. It is a Chinese idiom, and.、Um, Gao yang means long time here. Gao means a very long time. Yang is here. Dai ming means your great name. I heard your great name long time ago. For example, you have a friend who is A. A told you he has a very good friend B, and next time. When you meet B, you can just say, "I heard your great name long time ago." Gao yang dai ming means I heard from A that you're a very good person. So if you can say this, then it's pretty advanced, and also it shows how friendly and humorous you are. Here are some pronouns that you can use in Cantonese. All of these are very useful and very easy to remember. 我我你你佢佢 Be careful. 佢 could be he, could be she, and could be it. 我哋我哋 The second character it is used to change. From singular form to plural form. 你哋你哋佢哋佢哋 
A lot of people get confused with these, but in fact, you just need to remember four characters. 我、你、佢 means I, you, he, she, or it. Then you need to remember, they is to change from singular form to plural form. So how can we distinguish these two groups? You will see, 我、你、佢、I, you, he, she, it has one character only, means it's for one person. But 我哋、你哋、佢哋 these have Two characters means for two or more than two people, and you just need to remember 我、你、佢、哋 and that's it. 好，今日就分享咁多。That's all for my sharing today, and you need to remember the、uh, self introduction to say your name, your family name, and to ask people's information. Be able to say nice to meet you. And don't forget about the pronouns I taught just now. 好，我哋下次见。See you next time.